Ladybug saved Paris from destruction once again, but who's gonna save Marinette from her homework? What's this? Call me, I know who the real Ladybug is? No way! You think she knows? I doubt it. Ollie is always jumping to conclusions before she has her facts straight. But just in case... No worries, Tiki. I got it covered. Don't worry. Everything's gonna be okay. Where is Marinette? She hasn't forgotten about you, Manon. How did you know my name? Uh, uh, Marinette told me. She's coming right back, okay? I thought cats always landed on their feet. <laughs> Why, thanks, my ladybug, but I had it covered. Huh? <laughs> no time for your childish charm, Cat Noir. Cheng Sifu isn't just a chef, Marinette. He's an artist. He told me he was gonna put flowers in his celestial soup. He said he improvises on fateful things that come his way. The flowers he mentioned must be the ones you gave him. So, you think he actually likes me? Totally. <laughs> He's shown you great respect, in his own special way. Hey, Ice Queen. What's with all the terrorizing? Why don't you pick on someone your own temperature? Listen. I'm feline more generous than usual today, so cool down and we'll call it quits, okay? <laughs> Frosty the Snow Girl's getting away! Uh, oh, do I hear a damsel uh, in distress? Some of us don't have night vision. Whoa! No need to bug out, just trust me! Can you believe it? All I gotta do is find out who this history book belongs to and BAM! I figured out Ladybug's true identity! I'm so on this one! You really think you can figure out who Ladybug is from a textbook that every high school student owns? Yep, cause our school is the only school that uses that book! Ha! So all I gotta do is find out which girl in 10th grade lost her book last week! I'm Lady Wi-Fi, revealer of the truth! For our first expose, your principal would like to share a little tidbit with you. So, Mr. Damocles, is it true you wrongly suspended a student named Alia today? Uh, yes it is. So you were biased, unfair, totally unjust? For my next scoop, I'll be taking you to meet the girl who's been hiding behind the ladybug mask. <laughs> Stay connected. What's done is done. We can't change what happened. We can only move forward. Alia must not find out who you are. You know how persistent she can be with her blog mm -hmm. totally dedicated to Ladybug. But how? Maybe I'm not cut out for this whole Ladybug thing. You are the chosen one, Marinette. It will all work out. Trust me. Everyone has a past they can learn from. This'll show you why. I should have won. I have the talent. The star looks everything. But she took everything away from me. They took everything away from me. I should have won. Yes! <laughs> I am Stormy Weather, the only weather girl who always gets the forecast right. And unfortunately for you, there's a freak icy front moving in right now! For all of you who voted for me, Ray, I'd advise you to move indoors. It's going to get very blustery. Oh, wait. Too late. What's your problem? Relax. You're getting the party you always wanted. But Nino's been akumatized. I've got to help him. You may never get this chance again. Come on. Let's have a little fun while your father's away. Then we'll save Nino, trap his akuma, and all will be good. The vibrations are so strong. I can feel the imminent anger and sadness. The moment of weakness of my next victim. Such easy prey for my Akuma. Stormy weather. I am Hawkmoth. I give you the power to seek revenge on them as my weather girl. All you have to do is bring me the miraculous. Can you do that? Adrian's not home yet. Uh, I was coming to see you, dear uh, sir. Me? Forget it, Nina. Really, it's fine. Listen, young man. I decide what's best for my son. In fact, I've just decided you're a bad influence and you're not welcome in my house ever again. Leave now! Oh, thank you. Oh, how do we say in your language? Totally awesome! Whoa, I've never seen one like this before. This is so very kind of you. So, shall we continue where we left off? Oh, no thank you. I have a special event at the hospital for children with Miss Rose. I just go quickly before my chaperone locates me. Wait, am I seeing what I think I'm seeing? Don't tell me it's Adrian's birthday. Ugh, do I have to do everything myself? Seriously, what are you good for? 
out of the way. Happy birthday, Adrian. Mm -hmm. Did you get the gift I sent you? Uh, no. What? Oh, those delivery guys. I bet it was too heavy, so they had to go back and get another guy to help. Those slackers. I'll make sure they get it to you by tonight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if it weren't for me, you wouldn't have defeated Vanisher. And now, I'm going to defeat you. Chloe? Wrong. Super wrong. I am Antibug. Did you hear how impressed Adrian was with Marinette's design? Of course I heard. <laughs> I'm sure he will, Chloe. You're a born champion. Your design will blow everyone else's out of the water. We're so awesome. We? Oh, right. Sorry. You're so awesome, Chloe. When are we, uh, you, going to make that? You've got no friends left, Chloe. And you'll never have any ever again. I'll make sure of that. Just because you can see me doesn't mean you'll defeat me, Ladybug. Dude, seriously? Has your dad always been such a downer? You think he'd at least remember what it was like to be young and want to party a little? No, I'm pretty sure he was a downer back then, too. Well, at least I tried. It's your B-Day, dude! Incest! You know what? I'm gonna have a little convo with your pops. Looks like I've got some business to take care of with Adrian's old man. No more adults means total freedom! This is so sweet! Off the hook! And now, party time! Hey, hey, hey! Today's your lucky day, little dudes! The adults are taking the day off, so make the most of it! No chores, no homework, no more nagging, just fun, 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 fun! This is the Bubbler's gift to you! Let's review the official rules! Two laps around the fountains, approximately 500 yards. The first one over the line is declared the victor. If Kim triumphs, Alex will relinquish her rollerblades to him. If Alex triumphs, Kim will be prohibited from making another dare for the rest of the school year. This is a travesty. An unequivocal travesty! I should have been going to that tournament. I was the chosen one. I worked so hard for it. This is inconceivable! Absolutely, Hawkmoth. Game on! Now they'll see who's the greatest gamer in Paris! I, I didn't mean it! Listen, Mr. Huh, guitar, we, we can uh, uh, do the duet your style! Ah! Oh. What's he doing here? This guy's crazy! Many centuries ago, magic jewels bestowing extraordinary powers were created. These were the miraculous. Throughout history, heroes have used these jewels for the good of the human race. Two of these miraculous are more powerful than the others. The earrings of the ladybug, which provide the power of creation, and the ring of the black cat, which grants the power of destruction. According to legend, whoever controls both these jewels at the same time will achieve absolute power. That's perfect, Max. I better hit a home run with this one. Love is like baseball, right? You gotta have a strategy or you'll strike out. But if you aim right, you'll hit it out of the ballpark. Score! Oh, yes, Kim. Lovely metaphor. Meta who? It's gorgeous, Kim. She's gonna be ecstatic. <laughs> Technically, she's still gotta accept it. Uh, what if she says no? Operation Valentine's Day is underway! Oh, no! Ladybug! Stop, Kim! I'm not Kim. I'm Dark Cupid. I'll never stop. If I can't have love, then no one can. Okay, Dark Cupid, I get it. Chloe totally burned you. But that doesn't mean you have to take it out on all of Paris. Oh, yes, I do. And I won't stop until everyone's heart is crushed. Say adios to your loved ones. From now on, you'll hate them. <laughs> and no, this is Chris. Sarah asked me to call you with a last-minute location change. The bus is picking us up in ten minutes in front of the Louvre Pyramid. Really? Uh, that's on the other side of town. Yes, but, uh, it's closer to the Eiffel Tower. Well, okay. Well, luckily, I'll just make it on time. Thanks for letting me know, friend. Sure, we'll see you there. Not bad, Jagged, not bad. But if you really want to be making something killer, let's talk about this duet with Mr. XY. Penny might be your agent, but I'm your real boss. Listen, bottom line is that Bob Roth Records cannot afford to be number two in sales or rep a number two rock star. Get real, Jagged. You're going to have to modernize your music, change the way you look, get a whole new style. I'm sorry. I'm going to do better on the next take, I, I promise. You're playing a hero from the Special Forces. You're not supposed to get all freaked out. I know, but that monster mask he's wearing is so realistic and scary. Oh, I need to sing my happy song. It always makes me feel better. <laughs> oh, 
He had to pick up his hat from a repair shop. At least that's what he said. Well, he's a very convincing actor. Actually, he is a great actor. But he's always making excuses for why he's late, why he's... Falls asleep in the middle of rehearsal? Look, you're his understudy. Just be ready to take his place in case something happens, okay? I'm gonna vote for Mireille. She's the best. Marinette, I want a balloon with Mireille on it. Can I? Can I? Marinette? I'll get you that balloon. No, I want to go with Marinette. You promised. You aren't going to break your promise, are you? I gotta get those ladybug and cat noir dolls. I want those dolls! I'm gonna use these dolls to beat Ladybug fair and square. Marinette, don't forget to clean your room after school today. Mom, it's Friday and I'm already doing something with all ya. Fine. I'll go ahead and clean it, but don't blame me if I come across any of your private stuff, like your emails, your diary. Okay, I'll do it. I'll do it. Marinette never told us about this tournament. We were just paired up today. You two are a pair, huh? I'm not surprised. Marinette talks a lot about you, you know. Nathaniel, what are you drawing? What? what? And these artistic endeavors are clearly why you are failing science. I'm sorry? You go march yourself down to the principal's office and show him that chicken scratch. Then you'll be really sorry. We shall have to see if it fits in with the prince's busy schedule. We have very little time for festivities. His Highness has many responsibilities. My mustache! I groomed it! Is it too short? Should I shave the whole thing off? Maybe it's a little crooked on one... You look perfect, Dad. Uh, except for one thing. Huh? Thanks, sweetheart! <laughs> now don't forget, Mrs. Shamak will be coming by to pick up the Eiffel Tower cake in 30 minutes. I'm depending on you. I promise I won't screw up next time. Good, because Mom's right. There's only one marinette, and we're counting on her. I've been a police officer for 15 years, and I firmly believe that every citizen is innocent until proven guilty. Hold on a minute, Miss Bourgeois. We don't accuse without proof. Now, everyone calm down, please. Maybe you simply misplaced your bracelet. Affirmative. Cat Noir and Ladybug will be powerless against me, and justice will prevail in the streets of Paris. You're under arrest. What? What for? You threw litter on a public sidewalk, jaywalked, and crossed a red light. Next mission, seeking justice from Mayor Bourgeois. Marinette, you're working with him? I'm so stupid. I actually thought you liked me. But you're really just like Chloe. Teasing me, mocking me, leading me on! In the comics, this is what's known as the final showdown. The thing is, if you knew her, you wouldn't be breaking a sweat to save her skin. She's the real baddie! Master, the moth miraculous. I felt its aura. I thought it had been lost forever. But, Master, it's a negative mm. aura. I fear it may have gotten into the hands of a dark power. Excellent choice, Master. I missed the photo, didn't I? Yeah, another one of Chloe's mean tricks. Why should I expect it to be any different? Nobody ever hears me or sees me. I'm invisible, even in photos. Don't say that, Julika. It's not true. Forget it. As long as Chloe's in the picture, she'll find a way to keep me out of it. No, wait, Julika! Really, Rose, forget it. Forget me. Nobody has ever noticed me, but those days are over. Because from now on, everybody will notice me, because everyone will look like me. Time to get a new look. Yeah. Soon there'll be nothing but reflectors everywhere. Soon all of Paris will look like me, including Miss Chloe Bourgeois. <laughs> She told me that if I ran for the election, I'd get kicked out of Scrapbooking Club. And you know how much I love all those stickers, colorful scraps of papers, and gluing. Way to go, Marinette. <gasps> you spoke from the heart. It was truly authentic. <laughs> huh? Oh, uh, thanks. When you win, can we get more comfortable chairs? They're so hard, I can barely concentrate in class. <gasps> Maybe pink ones. I'm Princess Fragrance, and I've come here just for you. In just a spritz, you'll be my Prince Ali. My Unfortunately, I have no dishes to share, but maybe Monsieur Bourgeois will invite you all to the hotel and treat you to lunch. Look what Daddy's brought you. Only the finest for my baby. 
I bet I could beat it in a race. Impossible. No human being could compete with my panther. Your friend's right, kiddo. Now please leave. She needs peace and quiet while she eats. You're stressing her out. Hey, kiddo. Still up for a little race? Go ahead, I'll give you a head start. You lost, kiddo. What do you think of Panthers now? It's down to just the two of us, kiddo. And then there was one. One who is burning with impatience can never eat hot porridge. Um, what has this got to do with eating? Silence, please. Reading energies. What type of cat did you say? We are finished. Your cat's health has been restored. How did you do that? Ancient Chinese secret. Just like yours. Hold on to this for me, will ya, Alia? I don't want to drop it during the race. Hold on, girl. I can't. I gotta... Guard it with your life. It's a family heirloom. But... My old man gave me this for my birthday! This watch is totally a family heirloom! The name's Time Breaker now, and I'm gonna go back in time and save my watch, using all of you punks to do it! Go back in time? What did you do to Cam? Why is he fading? I needed his energy. Besides, the dude was a pain anyway with all those bets. He deserves to disappear forever, and so do you! I'm telling you, Father, it's right there in the hieroglyphics. Uh, Excuse me, uh, there, as you know, the one with the scepter is Tutankhamun the first, and there, opposite, is Nefertiti, his princess. There are exactly 100 mummies beside them. She died several years before him, and the sun god Ra took her as his goddess. Yes, I know all that. I'm the director of this exhibition, remember? Then you also know that Tutankhamun wanted to bring his princess back to life by offering the sun god a new wife. This scene illustrates a ritual he devised. Oh, sacred Ra, god of the sun, I, Pharaoh, offer to thee a pure soul, this sacrifice for the return of Nefertiti. I bow to you and present this gift with my mummies. In company, we pray to you the safe return of Princess Nefertiti. Awaken, Nefertiti! Awaken! Awaken, Nefertiti! Awaken! Couldn't you have made more of an effort to dress nicely? What do you mean? I took off my cap. But this is a special day. Well, it's only a birthday. No, this is a special <gasps> birthday. This family heirloom was made by one of our ancestors many, many years ago. It's been passed down from one generation to the next on the 15th birthday. And today, it's your turn to inherit it. My English very bad, not like your Chinese. I thought you couldn't speak English. Well, uh, me too. Oh, no, not good. My English, not good. My dish is celestial soup. Would you like me to come with you, Chang Sifu? No, thank you, Adrian. Cooking needs no words. Marinette was right. It was evil act by that brat. No respect for Chang Sifu. <laughs> you have eaten my soup. You become my servants. <laughs> Not polite to leave table without permission. Cut off all exits! Who are going to taste Kung Fu soup? Everybody become my servants, and Kung Fu become world's greatest chef! <laughs> well, happy day, happy day! Splendid is the afternoon day. Ah, oh, Edgar, you fancy one. <laughs> Fantastic, dazzling performance! Oh, dreary day, poor Parisians. Roo! Roo! Sorry to ruffle your feathers, but Paris now belongs to the pigeons. Flap, flap! Roo! Roo! It was my honor, and I can't wait to meet Ladybug. I hope she'll autograph the photo I used as the inspiration for the statue. Ladybug didn't show up. I just wanted to express my adoration for her. Let her know that everything I had went into her statue. I'm sure if she took a little time to get to know me, she would see how much we have in common. Our devotion to the things we love. I don't get what Ladybug sees in you. A fool who so easily falls into my trap. Looking for this? Which one should I pick up? My one or my one? Ladybug's on her way, which was my plan all along. She won't be duped. She knows me too well. I know you well too. And from now on, she'll love me, not you. I'm very pleased with how you all did on your last assignment. Some of you have really stepped up, and I do appreciate it. Now it's time to move on to our next assignment. Mm -hmm. Is Marinette still in the girls' room? 
Uh, I don't know, miss. Tonight I want you all to read chapter three of the breathtaking France, the first thousand years. Then answer this simple questionnaire. See to it that Marinette receives her homework. Uh -huh. Didn't you hear, Mr. Stone? You still haven't got it, have you? No photos! <laughs> Good reflexes. Now don't let me see you near Mr. Stone again, or next time you won't get your camera back. Ooh. Mr. Stone is going to need a new pair of shades for tonight's gig. Red, white, and blue with two large Eiffel Towers on them. Can you get that for him? Um... Don't listen to those bozos. Easy to judge when they're not in front of the camera. You're doing awesome. Come back. I promise I'll roll more quietly. Here. It's from my favorite band, the Zombie Skull Crushers. <laughs> so, who's the worst now? Hey, it's not very nice to pick on people who are smaller than you. I guess you're talking about yourself. Magnifico! Super! Come on, I want to see a hunger in your eyes! No, no, no! The boy has eaten too much spaghetti! Oh, we need some more energy, more romance! We need... Uh, uh, a girl! I need an extra! Who? Me? See, si, uh, to pose with Mr. Adrian! Remember me, Mr. Stone? Vincent Asa! Just one photo to show everyone in the world that we're best buds! Come on, please! I'm your biggest fan! There! Look into the lens! I am Pixelator, your biggest fan, Mr. Stone. Can I call you Jagged? No! I want to immortalize you, Jagged! I'll be your one and only fan! You will belong to me for eternity! Now, look into the lens. So you're Ladybug. I've heard such pathetic things about you. Look into the lens. You want to talk about real? I'm a genuine rock and roller, Bob. Not some pop star in diapers. I'm a real artist with real talent. Even my hair is real. And that's what people love about me. Isn't that right, Fang? Yeah. And the artwork you came up with for my album is a waste of my time. Seriously, Bob, what is this trash? It looks like a perfume ad. Oh, oh, oh. Good job, Fang. I found you at last, XY. Ready for the show? Dude, are you Jagged Stone? Was Jagged Stone. Now I'm Guitar Villain! Ha ha! Don't worry, you're not gonna become one of my fans. You don't deserve it. I've got something special in store for you. Something with a little rock and row! I'm sure you've outdone yourself, Theo. Oh, it's nearly time. Ladybug and Cat Noir should already be here by now. Perhaps the ceremony should commence. It might bring her here faster. It's only proper for Paris to pay homage to those who protect us from evil. Ladybug and Cat Noir! Oh, yeah. <laughs> no need to grab now, children. Good old Santa Claus has a gift for everyone. These gifts are so lame, and I bet this is totally fake. Hey, easy on the beard. Sorry, sir. Are you okay? Uh, fine. Don't worry. I'm a tough old Santa. But what are you doing out at this time of night? Are you lost? There are no more presents! No more spirit of Christmas! You should have been good! How about a nice sleigh ride, my little wretched elves? Ho 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 ho! Hold on! Here we go! Your schedule, Adrian. Thanks, Natalie. Hey, uh, my father get back to you about my birthday party? Well, um, he doesn't think it would be a good idea. Of course not. Happy birthday, Adrian. Who was that, Natalie? A friend of Adrian's. She was delivering a gift for his birthday. Did you remember to buy him a present from me? Uh, uh, but you didn't ask me to. Of course I did! Yes, Mr. Grass, I I'll take care of it. Oh, Manon, you can't always expect to win. Yes, you can! Ladybug and Cat Noir always win! Well, you're right there, but they're superheroes. You'll win next time, Manon. All right, now give the doll back to Marinette. I told her she could borrow it. And that's sweet of you, Marinette, but Manon already has so many toys at home. I wouldn't even know where to put it. A girl doesn't need to wear a costume to be amazing, you know. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I... So, you've got a little soft spot for the bug, huh? Me? Oh, no. Not at all. You know, I actually happen to be very close friends with Ladybug. Really? We can chat about it if you want. Not here, though. Why don't we meet at the park after school and I'll tell you everything? Don't worry, Ladybug. I don't want to be your friend. But at least now you won't be able to say we don't know each other. <laughs> Lila? You will call me Bopina! 
You're not a superhero! You're another one of Hawk Moth's Akumatized victims! Everyone thinks I'm a superhero, including Cat Noir. So you won't be able to call me a liar anymore, because everyone will think you're the liar! Now all I need is my hat to complete my costume. Here it is! Thank you, Marinette, saving me at the last minute. You've done a perfect job. Thanks to you, I'll have my good luck charm right here next to me at all times. A photo of my beloved daughter. Oh, that was Sarah, the play's director. She's very nervous about the premiere. She's ready to blow a fuse, so I better get going. See you tonight at the Eiffel Tower, girls. Well, yes, I'm a hypnotist, but, uh, I don't use my skills to get anything. I told you I don't make people... Ah! A shy hypnotist! How funny is that, Gabriel? But that's not fair. I didn't even get time to... Uh... Simon says the show is not over. What on earth? Silence! Simon says, you're lame, as lame as a duck. Simon says, you are a gorilla. Gabriel Agress turned down my challenge, and he will pay for it. By midnight tonight, he will entertain us in this very TV studio. Gabriel, I'm coming to get you. <laughs> <laughs> Marinette, look! Uh, what is going on today? Do you have an appointment with the prince? No need. I'm his princess. And I'm a monkey's uncle. Listen, That's kid, no I... no way to speak to a princess! At your service, princess fragrance. It ought be. This particular maneuver hither was developed by my ancestor, Darkblade. Darkblade? In the days of yore, Darkblade conquered Paris and ruled over it with an iron fist until he was overthrown thence by a wealthy Frenchman who used his dirty gold to buy the loyalties of the common people. To think that not so long ago my ancestor's flag was waving above Paris. Darkblade, the Lord of Paris! Thou shalt become my knights. Soon mine army shalt be immense and unstoppable. We shall take City Hall by storm and reclaim the throne from Bourgeois the Usurper. You only have one day to work on your fashion piece, and it must be your own design. In ten hours, your finished presentation will be judged by none other than the great fashion designer, Gabriel Agrest, the father of our very own student, Adrian Agrest. In fact, Adrian will model the winning design in his next photo shoot. And now to announce this year's theme, Derby Hats. We started off with 5,000 contestants, but with the help of our audience at home, we whittled our talent down to just these two amazing young ladies. So let's welcome our fantastic finalists. To my right, Aurora Boreal, and on my left, Mireille Kake. Who will be the lucky winner? Vote now! Type one for Aurora and two for Mireille. And remember, standard text message rates apply.